of a Saturday morning before we go out to work. We've got to fix the toilet at the pub today, Dom. Yeah. Right, let's get going. Come on, everybody. Woo Come on, Abs. We've got to go. You're crashing my audio again, Gemma. Shall I just move out? Woo -hoo! Easy. Sit down then, boy. Good. We're putting that box in here, Abs. Should I put the cap in there? This is not an endorsement for Play-Doh Kitchen. Right, we're just dropping the kids off at the old Queen's house. I have to get into work to fix the toilet. We did a little temporary fix the other day, if you remember. But it would appear that that whole system plunger on the top has gone inside. So we need to figure that out and get it done before the pub opens at 12 o'clock and then I'm going to spend some time in the unit. I was meant to be going to the Bermuda Triangle, which is a beer festival held in Newark today, but I think I've got more important things to do unfortunately, so the beer can wait and we'll do a bit of welding maybe, we shall see. Oh look at him. Right then, they're done, shall we get going my dear? Hey, let's go. Let's go. Toilet fixed. A real quick sort of uh, job that I had to get done. We've literally got like 10 people in the pub, so I needed to get that done ASAP. So no footage, but it was just a case of super going apart back together. Dead easy, dead easy. So the next task I have on my hands is probably picking up a bacon sandwich. But again, I'm not gonna bore you with that. Instead, we're gonna finally put the grooves into the table saw. drag the welder out because I want to install the new um, gun on it. Make sure you can see what's going on. So the one that Froggy brought, whilst it is perfectly fine, it is a 0.8 liner, 0.8 millimeter liner and the wire I've got on here is 1.2 it won't fit through the middle so I'm going to say thank you very much Froggy and I will put your torch back in the bag you brought it sir ready for you when you are better and I will connect up the new one oh. She's a beautiful brand new torch like pet. So, we'll connect her up. Okay, now I need to wheel her into there to plug her in because we don't have any power outlets here big enough for this. And 
now we need to feed the roller. Now this is the first time I've ever done this. So I'll bring you for the ride. So we're gonna undo this and slide it forwards. Ha <laughs> ha! And then that goes across and through there. And that back on. And then the same this side. Maybe we pull the trigger. And we've got it. So now, all I have to do, I'm guessing, is feed this wire until it pops out the end. Oh dear. Right. The wire's got twisted up in here. That's a no-no then, isn't it? Right, back to the drawing board. Okay, round two. I've laid the cable out as straight as possible to aid in the feed. There are no kinks. It seems to be running a little bit smoother this time. Hey! We've got it. Look at that wire. So we'll get this tip on. There we go. She's through now. We'll screw this on the end. Slide on the cap. And she goes. I've got a big sheet of uh, quarter inch plate over there. I'm gonna use that as a welding table. So I'm gonna get some angle iron, cut up some legs and put together a welding table. While I'm struggling to set it up, <laughs> so in the words of Ave, grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. So yeah, just having a few issues dialing this in because I don't know what I'm doing. But hopefully, we'll figure it out. I like to cook the meatball. It is a nice meatball for the spicy tomato pasta sauce. Right, we're home with the kids. We're cooking, obviously, spaghetti and the meatball. But I just wanted to say a quick shout out to Mr. New to Homebrew Tom, because today marks the day that he's surpassed me on the subscriber count. Nowhere near as many views, though. So if you don't already watch New to Homebrew Tom videos, he puts them out sporadically. Maybe once a month. No, only kidding. Only kidding. Uh, then I suggest you go over to his channel and subscribe to him. He must be good if he's got more subscribers than I have. He must be. There's a link down there. One thing I want to touch on before we go, because it's the end of Saturday's vlog and I ain't going to get much more done now because I'm home alone with the kids and they're just so, no you can even hear them now, they're so noisy. One thing I want to point out, I'll probably touch more on this tomorrow, I had a fantastic quote back for rolling of the stainless steel. It was less than 250 quid to make a 600 litre tank, I have to do the welding. Now I'm not using that MIG welder that I've been using today to do the welding, I have a TIG. 
but I want to get the MIG up and running because I have lots of stuff to put together and I could do with a practice. I'm not sure how to set this up though. I'm not sure how much uh, pressure I need on the gas because uh, I, I froze the regulator today. I'm not sure what settings I need to be on for, let's like, say, welding, um, you know, four millimeter steel, mild steel. I'm not sure on what wire speed I need. So any comments, put them down below. Much, much appreciated. And we'll see you tomorrow for some more trials and tribulations with the MIG welder, I'm sure.